Go on his first touch. He sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're my, you're mean. He's a nice guy. I'm petty as f- I am. I'm petty. P E to the T T Y. Petty. P E to the T T Y. Petty. P E to the T T Y. I'm petty. Uh 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 uh. What is going on and welcome to another episode of the Urban Pitch Podcast, the beautiful game of life, part of the Believe Network. I'm Ramzi Abushala, editor of UrbanPitch.com. As always, joined by the executive directors of Vibes. We in here. No, I'm taking the co out. You guys are just both Yo. the executive directors. There's, I mean, there's just no, you know After what I mean? he came on as in that After podcast. Yeah. yeah, look at this guy. Let's yeah, talk you about know, that. I'm trying, trying to light it up How right now. How dare Ramsey yeah. go to another podcast <laughs> it was and be a trash. guest to talk trash was, about his co-host. Yeah, it was just for the content. So for, 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 sure. for, for background, I was on the... Uh, the uh, he tried to do the, the 50 cents Kanye West beat. I was on the Above the Clouds <laughs> podcast. Shout out to Jeremy Rist and Kyle Scoble, Urban Pitch contributors as well. Um, and you know, Julio was actually supposed to be on that show, but he was he, he got a little big league for us. He said he was gonna he, he you, you committed to it and then you, you backed up the last minute. So you you could have been there to defend Fake yourself. News. Um, I had but, a whole interview to uh, attend. Yeah, he was taking care of business. Yeah, he was taking care yeah. of business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm come for him. But you know, anyways, what was said? I, I just said that you know their job. Let me just kind of throw that title to them um, to make them feel special. I was just it was for content, you yeah. know, and and they get they felt a little slighted. Julio didn't even listen to the episode. Bridget was the one that brought it up. Bridget's I a, a loyal. She's, she listens. She <laughs> listens to, to the podcast. The First yeah. of all, it's been a busy week for me, but uh, whatever is said in the darkness comes to the light. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my cheaters. And it did. <laughs> Stay faithful. Stay faithful. Yeah. <laughs> Salvadorian man, Stay don't cheat. Stay faithful. Twenty twenty two. <laughs> no, but so today we do not have a guest. It's 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 just the crew in the it's building. Us. But you know, we don't need a guest. The ones in the we don't, we don't need no for it to be a special show. We are show. the guests. We yeah, are we. The I mean, we yeah. we make oh, the show. Period. That's, that's what I'm saying. You know, period. So. Period. Poop, period. <laughs> today. <laughs> What's going on today? Uh, get, I don't know what is get us back on, on track. Get us back on track. <laughs> but no, real quick, but, shout out to hey. um, for the people listening on um, on audio <laughs> files. That was my phone that just fell. Um, we we have we got these new Urban Pitch mugs. So um, hey, we out know, here. Yeah, so we're out here. Cheers, cheers, Steve. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Before we get today started, it is it's it's the the season of Thanksgiving. And I just wanted to say, you know, before we get started, I'm just thankful for you guys. Aww. You know? Aww. Yeah, I'm thankful for the, for so the, for what we've been able to do, you know what I mean? So, so ch- cheers to Y'all you guys right. before we get started. It wouldn't be, right. it wouldn't be a week without seeing you guys, yeah. honestly. Right? You know, yeah. It's been, it's been a mile. Honestly. It's been a while, yeah. 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 It has been, yeah. You know, we brought on Bridget. Shout out to you guys, I think, you know. You know. you're a good addition, so. I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate the both of you. Shouts to us. Shout out to Shout out to us. Shout out to Urban Pitch. Sorry, cheers. He wanted another girl, but she couldn't, she couldn't commit. Bridget is the best second option ever. First of all, <laughs> the people wanted me, so this is what you get. Yeah. <laughs> Stop DMing this girl because she out here bigger head up. Stop DMing this girl for real. Yeah. No, but so today's episode, we'll be, we will be going, uh, we will be going over the the World Cup. By the time this uh, airs, we're recording this on Thursday. This will um, air on on Tuesday. Um, the World Cup World Cup would be kicked off. Um, a couple first. The first couple games would 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 have uh, taken place, but we're gonna do a quick preview of you know what we're looking forward to. Um, obviously, there's been uh, a lot of controversy around this um, uh, this particular tournament, probably the most contentious World Cup of all time. We'll get into that. Uh, we'll talk about the U.S. Men's National Team. We'll talk about Mexico because Bridget's uh, a big time Mexico supporter. We'll talk about the vibes in Qatar. What you know, what we're looking forward to. What we're kind of disappointed about, and then we'll make our, our predictions. Um, you know, first for the first couple rounds, the group stage and, and, and whatnot. But um, first, first of all, <coughs> what what do you guys think about this World Cup? Does it? Because I feel like it's not really hitting the same as previous ones. No, that- Today's episode is brought to you by Bet Online. Basketball is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting needs this season. You'll always find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. And as your continued source for all wagering information, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite sports and events, whether that's NFL, NBA, NHL, MMA, tennis, boxing, or even golf. Head to betonline.ag, that's betonline.ag. To join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit, make sure to use promo code BELIEVE, that's B-L-E-A-V, to receive your rewards. Bet online where the game starts. 
definitely. 2018, you know, it was in the summer. There's there's events, you know, mm -hmm. people, there's hype. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're doing stuff like mm -hmm. there's, there's like watch parties, all this stuff. Not to say that there aren't watch parties, but there was like pre, pre, the like sun the sun was out, right? Yeah, yeah. you know, like the, the the lead up into the World Cup, there was just a lot more hype. So, what uh, is it hitting the same for you guys, or or, or what? Nope. <laughs> like it's not. I feel like I for a second, around like maybe September, October, I was just like, oh, shit, the World Cup is coming. Yeah. Which is just weird. Like I feel like a part of the World Cup vibes is the summer, like. Mm. The, you know, like you get to be out in the open, no sweaters, rocking your jerseys, you know, the okay, whole thing. Okay, Bridget. <laughs> okay, Bridget. You, I She's have like, too much clothes vibe. on for this real good. You know what? Not enough. Yeah, not enough opportunities to just be out there and showing it all off. But, I mean, showing I'm excited. <laughs> the she's behind the gym. She's behind the gym. She's, hey, she's like, I, I, I cannot be doing all this running for nothing. Like, <laughs> 60 miles a month. The like, new year is coming, you know, new year, new me or whatever they right, say. Right, but right. yeah, I just don't know. I, it, it's just different. Like th these are like cozy vibes mm. and I feel like it's. She doesn't want to cuddle and watch the World Cup. Right. I mean, that be would be cute. Yeah, yeah, Honestly, can outside. you imagine that? Just cuddling, watching the World Cup. I, Shout I'm out into to you. That. <laughs> she knows who she is. <laughs> <laughs> they know who they are. <laughs> they know who they are. <laughs> nah, nah, she. <laughs> Uh, Damn, you're yeah, how, about, how about you, Julia? What, what are your thoughts? <laughs> no, honestly, it, you're right. It does not hit the same. Like, like the whole thing about going to a World Cup, going to the beach, uh, viewing parties. Mm -hmm. They usually have one in Manhattan Beach, like, and it, and it gets so fun because, like, I remember going back to the 2014 World Cup when the U.S. was uh, qualified. Yeah. Um, I remember going to go watch that at Sharkies, watching that Portugal USA game, and after the game was over, go to the beach and see just random people getting a soccer ball and just. Doing pickup okay. games. So, yeah, it does not hit the same. It is, uh, I don't know, like, it just isn't, it, like, it's tamale season. <laughs> right. Tamales are World Cup. We're going to be we're gonna be watching the World Cup with games tamales. with tamales and, and champurrado on the side. Yeah. Like. yeah, so, honestly, like, I don't want to be drunk before, like, 2 p.m. every day. Right? Like, waking up drunk, going to sleep drunk. It's, I'm going to yeah, get but fired. I'm going to have to figure it out, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the season, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, no, but the seasonal thing is is, is real, right? Yeah. Uh, ben Perez, shout out to Ben Perez. He did a he did a good piece on just like obviously because there's there's the whole baggage that the Qatar World Cup yeah. brings. Yeah, you, you know? can't have sex at the World Cup, That's right? So I mean. <laughs> That's the first thing he goes to. That's the first Awful. thing he goes to. That's there's, why he didn't go. I mean, Let's preface that. Right. There's <laughs> <just> unpaid <laughs> labor. Like People are dying. You know, like there's there's a corruption in, in the, the bid being rights there. He went straight yeah. to yeah. Man, you, can't have, you can't have He went straight to the monogamy. <laughs> or, or the, the, not, not even monogamy. What's the word? Uh, um, abstinence. He went straight to the abstinence. That's that's the first thing that he went to. He but, said um, no. Yeah, so, it's not a World Cup without some debauchery. <laughs> But, I mean, you're not wrong, right? You're not wrong. So, I mean, that's a huge thing, right? Because they had those, um, like, you know, like the signs outside stadiums that'll be like, you know, no firearms, no, mm -hmm. like, e-cigarettes, no pets beyond this point. For Qatar, it was like, no homosexuality. You know what I mean? Like, that's, Bro. to me, that's like. The, the like insane. Right. And so that has There'll to. There'll be like, no Katy Perry, I kiss the girl. Right. Like right. And, and, and like, you, you see these guides, like we get like a bunch of these press emails that are like, you know, shout out to us. We get press emails, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's like, look it's, at like it's like top five tips when traveling to Qatar. And one of them is like, don't hold hands in, in public. You know Dang. what I mean? Like, Nothing like being it, drunk and holding hands with a random stranger. You can't honestly. even like leave a negative <laughs> Yelp review. Like you for, two hold hands and skip. Remember? I mean, that, we do that know? all the time. So it's like, yeah. Can you imagine you doing that it, over there? Yeah. If, Eliminate if, it. If, I, if I was to hold hands with anybody, honestly, it would be Ramsey, but like not even like, not even like you see here acknowledging opposite sex over it? not even opposite sex couples because you like oh that's right because the whole premarital marriage. premarital mm -hmm. sex is mm -hmm. is illegal wow. there so, so I gotta wear I gotta wear a fake wedding ring yeah I mean it wouldn't be the first time you did that but, <laughs> um, yeah so so I mean there there is all of that 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 kind of just like to me like it it makes it like obviously you're gonna watch the games because it's it's a World Cup you know like you're not but gonna it's, it's not the same watching the game without alcohol though. It, when you're there, but I, think I, mean, I have even, issues, Loki. <laughs> but but even when you're watching it from from home, you know, like it's hard to take in because there's there's been protests for every World Cup. You know, in Russia yeah, there's protests, right. in Brazil there's protests, even in Africa. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But but for I mean for this one it just feels a lot. There's a lot more not guilt, but like it just feels weird enjoying yeah. this, especially because it's like the first one in the Middle East, so it's just like 
we know a lot of the issues that are happening out there. Mm-hmm. We know a lot of the the It should have been our World Cup. Yeah. yeah. And, and the even the then, that, yeah, like that's a right. whole other thing yeah. that comes out here. So it's just it's hard. it's it's weird to like take in, but also the timing of it just throws it off completely. Yeah. yeah. But I think once it officially starts, we're gonna forget about all this and get into full it's World possible, Cup mode. For sure, for sure. And I'm excited about that. Like I'm I'm excited thinking about like the 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 amount of like nationality pride that we're gonna see like i'm really hyped about that and i know like you know your your country isn't in there i'm sorry but um <laughs> i'm american i was born here <laughs> what is wrong he's, he's american he's really, go yeah. back to sinaloa you freaking oh. hey, first of all oh. it's durango Whoa. okay <laughs> It's Durango, so get it right. Anyway, um, but yeah. Oh, so. but it is great, though. It is around Christmas time. So, like, Mexico, Christmas flag. Like, and I might be in Mexico <laughs> during Christmas, so oh, nice. I'll be out there. No, yeah. but Canada. no, definitely. Like, but, it, like, it does bring a little nostalgia, though, because I remember watching the uh, uh, Korea World Cup. It was it 2002? 2002, 2002, mm-hmm. 2002, yeah. Um, waking up early in the morning with my dad, 2 in the morning watching games. So, like, only, like, that, Aww. like, brings a little, brings me back to that. Yeah. Uh, I was, like... Uh, looking at the USA Mexico when USA beat Mexico to go to that fifth yeah. game, oh, yeah. and my dad was like, "Mexico's gonna win. They're way better than they way better." Look, look Shout at this player. Look, <laughs> look at this player. And my dad's Salvadorian, so I was like, first of all, get it together, homie." <laughs> <laughs> we would have gotten along. Yeah, great. I was like, right. "Get it together, <laughs> homie." So like, just going back to that, and he's like, "No, look at this player. No, Jeff August is not a great player. Like, these guys gonna take him on. Pablo Pardo's gonna mess him up." And then like USA actually like underdogs and win. Yeah, was that the like, original Dos Zero? No, it might I don't have been know. qualifying. Before, I, I, don't, like, I really, I really, I really before, don't know, but like, yeah. I, I still remember that, like, growing up, watch, waking up early in the morning. Mm-hmm. My dad had to be at work at six in the morning, but he would make it a point to wake us up at two in the morning, watch a game, That's and then be, man. Yeah. yeah, hard work. So, yeah. so definitely, like, now I'm, I'm gonna wake up my brother at two in the morning, like, here, have a beer with me, like, yeah, yeah. or don't even go to sleep, just right, go to two in the morning. That's right. crazy. But yeah, so like, it brings a little nostalgia. But, uh, but I mean, the games are gonna be two in the morning here. I think it's yeah. like, I think it's like eight is the first game, and then eleven. And then no, it's two in the morning, uh, five, five, eight, and, and eleven. Yeah. First oh, round. The first eight one 11. of the, the earliest yeah. is two a.m. Yeah, right, right, five right. You're right. No, no, you're mm-hmm. right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, because because I was looking at the just the U.S. schedule. And there, you the there, there you go. There you go. No, the, the country one, matters. Ones, I mean, the ones that on. matter. Come on, yeah, <laughs> I love it, Ramsey. Yeah, because I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna watch it in Saudi Arabia, Argentina at at two a.m. Yes, there's I, no I way unless you're going to sleep at that time. I know, like, so that Qatar, like Qatar, uh. So Ecuador the first game? Yeah. 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 Like I'm gonna try to wake up. But I that's what a Sunday? Sunday, Sunday. two in the morning. Yeah, oh, I'll be up. No, I'll is be it, up. no it's Sunday eight in the morning. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, we have to double check that. <laughs> the night, no, I swear. It's, hey. I think I think you're right. Though. Quote me but on this. But at least it's it's like Saturday night to wake up. And then and then Sunday Monday morning. then Monday becomes like uh the two five five two five, two, five uh eight, whatever. whatever. Eight, so eight, like yeah. Sunday you gotta get drunk early. <laughs> go to sleep early then like wake the, up early you're gonna be like oh i'm still, still drunk and then wake up at two in the morning and keep it going well, <laughs> hey follow me for like helpful tips <laughs> you see what i'm saying this, like this guy, this guy man. real director of vibes I'm out, I'm out here vibing with people he is. he's on the ground floor yeah right? he's on the We've ground floor you know. oh no so any watching party you gotta be at you're probably gonna see my face most likely all the ones that matter is what you're saying yeah like ones- poland mexico if, usa wales if julio is at your watch party that means that means you matter. Yeah. That means that's where the party's at. That's what it Damn. is. Yeah, you do matter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like all, he put, all viewing parties matter, guys. Come on. No, like, they all matter. But if Julio's there, it's a whole nother level. It's a whole nother level. <laughs> you with it. you with it. It went over bridges. It went over bridges. No, I heard it. I I just didn't want to acknowledge it. Right. I feel like we're veering off into (laughs) a a weird. Shout out these urban pitch cups do not come with anything empty with it. Like honestly, yeah, Yeah, it's the it's the mugs. It's the mugs. The mugs. They got something. It's pumpkin spice. (laughs) And yeah, everything nice. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're keeping it cozy. We're keeping it cozy. We, we, Bridget didn't get the. the oh my god! I know we had a whole email okay, saying layers today. Like, like yeah. it's not. Bridget wanted to be unique that all the time. Cold. It's not that cold. Like, get it together. Get it together. I mean, it's LA cold. Yeah. It's as like soon as it gets one below sixty. Cold. Unless as soon as it goes below sixty, like it's it's cold. Like <laughs> if it gets anything <laughs> under nip, Burr. if it anything, <laughs> if it gets any, anything here. under Nipsey, Nipsey Hustle, I'm not. Right. It's cold as hell. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. The God. R.I.P. Um, so, so, Julio, you mentioned 2002. 
Um, what are some of y'all's favorite World Cups in recent memories? Uh, like it what? definitely was a baby in 2002. Yeah, I wasn't old enough to. Yeah, but I remember, I mean, I think, okay, 20, 2010 for sure for me was a vibe. Um, that Algeria-USA game, 2010. Yeah, yeah. Donovan with the winning goal, like, last minute to, like, qualify to the following round. Yeah, I, I don't remember any of the games, but for me, what it was, it was the watch oh, party. Like, I remember 2010, but I don't remember none the of the games. No, 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 the the, for the me, vibes. let me tell you. Can I talk? No, let her talk. Come on now. Yeah. Go ahead. True. Bridget, go ahead. Anyway, 2010, it was like just the, the vibes movie. only because, first of all, like the Shakira song was crazy, mm, like unforgettable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it was during the summer when we had like, we were, had just finished school, but then we had soccer practice during the mm. summer. So we would go to soccer practice and then I would just like, I had this soccer league that I was a part of that would like um, send us emails about like watch parties for like um, our soccer league for, for the kids. So I would go and I would go show, I would like show up by myself. And I remember we hey, had, how old were you? I was like, sophomore I was a school. sophomore yeah. going into junior year. Yeah. Right. I was yeah. just rolling by myself. Like I she did was not, out here I, had, I was out here. Like <laughs> I was on the 10, on the, on the, on all the buses, the See, sunset that's why bus, there's traffic the Highland on bus. The 10 because we got, no, we got bro. drivers like Bridget. No, she wasn't driving 10th grade. Bro. She was out here busing it. Like she the was bus, busing. the uh, 10, the 10 bus, the 10, the 10 freeway. When it, you say the 10, I know. If, you're from, the if you're from yeah, LA, I you know what yeah, I mean. When I, you I'm know what you. I say? Oops. Come on now. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these cuts are really hitting Julio, hard. Julio, you should have you kept interrupting her. <laughs> I, I, I no, at this point, I, I'm sorry, Queen. Anyway. Keep it going. Go ahead. Long story short, 2010, I just enjoyed the watch parties. I remember they had um, the Montalban Theater on, on mm -hmm. Hollywood, like mm -hmm. on Sunset. Yeah, yeah. They had watch parties there, and um, like you had to have a reservation, but because we were part of the youth program, they would let us in for mm. free, and then they had the rooftop soccer nice, stuff. Nice, nice. That's when I was just like, dang, like, this is lit, right. like super lit. And yeah. I was young as hell. I didn't yeah. even know that like, you could experience something like that. But um, so that, like, that was like super dope. But then I think, like, memory-wise, I think for me, obviously, the Noira Penal in 2014. Right, right. Crazy, oh, people, crazy. Me yeah. and my family were going crazy. People have not Mexicans got to let that. it go. That was no, not healed I will never that. let it go. Yeah. Yeah. No, never let got, it go. They got to let it go. These Mexicans got to let it go. No, no, era, no era penal. These Mexicans got to let it go. Yeah. No era penal. Like, I still hurt from that time. Like, I remember it clearly. No era penal. <laughs> Robin, like, no, <laughs> but if anyway. it would have went the other way and like they would have called a penalty, they were like, What a great penalty! No, like, it was a great soccer play, there was no VAR, bro. You saw the you saw the replay, it no era penal. Well, the ref called it, <laughs> no era penal. <laughs> no, but, all right, so yeah. anyway, yeah. but memory wise, I think we're like. 2018 when Mexico played against Germany oh, that and was it was crazy, crazy. That was crazy. it was, that was Father's Day Chucky base Lozano with that? no that I wasn't at the base I was at home and I wanted to go but it was Father's Day and it was my brother's birthday so we were at home right. watching that it Chucky, yeah. Chucky Lozano what that, a performance that he killed play, him. Was, that's what took him to Europe that's what I need yeah. him to do this year this some, this World Cup I feel like he needs to bring that but whatever anyway um, all the jokes aside like that Mexican game is probably one of the best, best. World Cup games yeah. I've seen him play. And, like, it, all right, so I went, all right, Salvadorian. <laughs> so, like, I started, like, Germany's going to be in 3-0. Yeah. Then, right. then I started playing them. Like, I'm like, you know what? Go, Mexico. Go, Mexico. <laughs> yeah. go Dude, Mexico. people were doubting, but the way they were playing. It was beautiful. On another level. Yeah. yeah. On Completely another awesome. level. Completely. Yeah. yeah. Insane. Yeah. And I got to watch that game with my dad and my mom. My parents didn't grow up, like, big soccer fans, so a lot of it comes from, like, me and my brother playing. Mm -hmm. And it just like felt good. Like I put I put the Mexico bandera on my uh -huh, dad's head. Uh -huh. I put the flag on him. I had my jersey, and we were just going crazy. Was, was he going super crazy. Mexican? Yeah, he was just like. <laughs> remember, just he super was Mexican. just like, ah, pinche cabron, da da da. Like he was going crazy, and like, he didn't even know what he was watching, but he was just like turning up with me. Right. It was really dope. But and then they won. So that's it was like just the best like, part of the World Cup. Though, yeah, doing like, it you know, with the like family when, when, when you when you don't have when you're with people who aren't normally soccer fans, yes, and you're getting into it. Yes. And like, I feel like that's, especially in the US, where it's not like ingrained in the culture, mm -hmm. you know, where you don't grow up, it's not like passed down from mm -hmm. generation to generation, you just grow up rooting for a certain team. Right. The World Cup is like a lot, for a lot of people, it's like their introduction mm -hmm. to the sport. Did or Vela go to that World Cup with Mexico? It with 2014 Vela. or 2018. Yeah. He was there. He was there. He with, scored. 2018. And Chicharito. Vela, yeah. It was Vela, Chicharito. It was in 2014? 2018, Vela was there. He didn't go 2014, oh, but right. he was there in 2018. No, 2018, no. it was Vela and Chicharito, yeah. Lozano. No, but uh, Vela scored a couple of times, yeah. too. 
Not oh well yeah yeah, yeah but yeah, not, yeah. not, yeah, but not, not that team like or that Mexican team I was like solid. dude like so solid, solid. And um, South Korea South Korea um, bailed y'all out too yeah. I know yeah. shout out to the Koreans the Korean Mexican um, alliance was never stronger in that in, in that, that I know yeah. damn Nothing I remember like that we yeah. were like. Yeah. Nothing like some kimchi tacos, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the Kogi, the Kogi truck. Yeah, yeah the Kogi truck. <laughs> no, but like, yeah, like, uh, piggybacking on, uh, on Bridget, like, that 2014, I remember watching that, uh, that Mexico, Ger- I mean, tw- sorry, 2018 game. I remember watching that Mexico-Germany game in um, a German bar. Oh, uh, It was, like, probably off of whatever, but right there right. by Busby, uh, Busby's Buzzies? East. Yeah. Busby East, like there was a, ger- was a oh, full German bar, and like it was like all these. I went with one of the German homies, and I like first of all, I was like Germany, yeah, because I'm with everybody. Then Mexico started balling out. I'm like, go Mexico, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but like they, they played amazing. But that 2010 World Cup for me is probably one, one of the most memorable World Cups for me for the simple reason that that was a year, I, um, it was a summer before I went to college, mm-hmm. and I had just gotten a full scholar- soccer scholarship. To go to Arizona. Have you got a scholarship to go to college? Super. Hey, Man, full ride. He, okay, full ride, get full ride. it. Scully boy. He never, he never, he's never mentioned that before. Oh, I never, no, so yeah, it was a full room and board, baby. Yeah. Oh. Um, so, um, so there was a year, like, we were getting emailed by the coach. And there's no, like, watch this game, watch this game. And, like, I remember just watching every game, watching that Spain win. Because I'm, I'm a Real Madrid fan, but... Most of that Spain team was oh Barcelona. My God. Barcelona that players. That was a legit Spain a squad. squad right there. Yes. That was my favorite too. But, like, that but like, all right, so as a Real, I'm a Real Madrid fan, but and my family knows that I, my three favorite players like around that time was Marcelo because I, I was I, I'm mm-hmm. a right back, but I was like Marcelo just changed the whole backside because yeah. Real Madrid did. But like, sure. other than that, Iniesta for me was like God. Yeah. Legit. Oh, yeah. Iniesta was God for me. I'm like, yeah. like whatever. Like I hated cheering for him because like with the team he played for, but I'm like. This guy is the man. It's next level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, next level. Like this, it was just class personified. Um, so just watching that World Cup, that was the first World Cup I actually watched mm-hmm. and like enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the 2014 was a great one as well because all the viewing parties. I was old enough right. to drink, uh-huh. so uh-huh. like uh, going to the viewing parties, going to Manhattan, and just watching the community come, the soccer community come alive, and be like, you know what? Like after the game, let's go to the random corner whatever watch party we're at, and let's play soccer. Um, growing up playing soccer here, you never got that vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, we had dirt fields, dirt fields. Mm-hmm. By 2014, most of the fields were turf. Mm-hmm. So it was like we, we could actually play yeah. on these turf fields. Yeah. So it was amazing. Yeah. 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 That's true. But, yeah, so, so moving on now to, to this year's tournament. Um, there's been a lot of talk back and forth about the, the current U.S. men's national team, obviously. You know, it's being U.S.-based podcast. You know, we, we have Forget some- Greg. So I know, Julio, you have some strong thoughts on the roster. Uh, we can get into that. Um, but what, so, I mean, I, actually, let's just do it now. So, so Julio, what, what are your thoughts on, uh, on the roster? I know, I know you have some strong ones. Yeah, so Haji, like, great Haji forward. Right, yeah. He's great forward, but I don't think, like, during recent call-ups, he has not performed at the level they think he is. I hope he proves me wrong, because I, 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 I want to P-fuck there. Um, and then, like, Picking Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Long. Shout out to Aaron Long. Our side, side, let's go. Yeah. Aaron Long, I see you. Is he a Highlander? <laughs> He's a Highlander. Go Highlanders alum. He can get his high ass out of there. But like, <laughs> um, over, over uh, what's his name? Aaron Brooks? John Brooks. John Brooks. John I'm sorry. John, John Brooks. Um, I'm like, no, like John Brooks. Actually, John Brooks was not going to get a call up. In I know, but whatever. Ago. But I'm saying like, I'd rather get a guy playing for Benfica over a guy that's playing MLS. Mm-hmm. And that... Honestly, against against that Korea, that Korea game, uh, he, Japan. Japan. I'm sorry, sorry. Ooh, that's bad. I did that last time. Too. Yeah, I know. J- yeah. Japan. Yeah. Y'all need Japan. to get it together. I know, cause like, now I remember. I remember like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So that Japan game, like, like the system that that Greg likes to play, he just does not look good in it. Does right. not look comfortable. So yeah. So so I think Aaron Long is he's probably him. Um, there's there's a couple of other omissions. You know, P Fuck is one of them. Um, uh, Pepe is another. Where Pe- Pepe, I know, get though, right? But so, so the, these guys are not starters, you know. So yeah. my P. So, can honestly be a starter, but he's not. He was not going to be. I mean, you he have, could be. He could be a difference maker, like strong. Has gets get assist, maybe. But he's not. But I mean, the the, the forwards you have you have Wea over Pulisic, Ferreira, huh? P. 
P fuck over Ferreira? Ferreira's not gonna play either though. But so listen, listen. The star, the guys who are gonna play, it's gonna be Wea, Pulisic, and uh, Reyna, and then Sargent. Those are four. Those are th- that's four. And then you have Aronson who can play up as as a forward. He's technically a midfielder, but he he'll play up as so that that that's a five. So he's gonna be the sixth guy on a team who's gonna play four games. Maybe five, maybe five. I mean, anywhere between three to four games. Like, I understand, you know, maybe, maybe these uh, fan, like the, like the, the, the fan outrage on there, like, I get it, right? Yeah, but like, at the same time, like, why are we, like, if we're, built to, if we're built to win the whole thing, if we're gonna play, you know, if we're gonna go to the finals, if we're a team that's, whose expectations are to do that, then sure, yeah, maybe, maybe you're, Third string forward, it or, or right, for your me, second like, string, third string striker. No, but like, like let, let's let's not, let's not just be like you know what, get comfortable with that with that uh, making it past the group stage. But with the players we brought, like you don't you don't give us a fighting punch. Like you can get lucky. Like all right, so the World Cup is whatever team like if a, like Costa Rica, whatever team that jails at the right time can make it pretty far. Uh-huh. But if you don't give us that chance with the players you bring in, not saying these players are not are bad. But I'm, I'm saying there's players that could be, that are playing at a little higher level in their club teams at higher leagues that deserve to be there. But Greg will be Greg, and I guess. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, people, people freak out about Greg Berhalter. You're, You're such a fan, though. Say that again? You're a fan of Greg? I wouldn't <laughs> say I'm a fan of his, but like... We, so I remember like us going back and forth on the DMs. I, sh- I jumped in his DMs. Yeah. Um, no, he actually jumped in my DMs. Yeah. And, and he was like, he was like, why do you keep blaming Greg? Like, people put, put so much fault on Greg's name. Dude, you, so Greg Berhalter has, the, you're only as good as the players that you have, you know? And, and I think the, the expectation level for, for US is just so high when our best players, you know, Weston McKinney, who I think is, is, pro- is like one of the top you know, you, you can make that. We, we, agree, we agree on Kristen this. Kristen Pulisic, though, is like, he's not even starting for his team. Yeah, but we agree he's on He's our second best yeah, player. Yeah, Weston McKinney's one of the, he's if not the best. best. What I'm saying is, yeah. Yeah, he's the, like, sick. the level of our players if, are not, like, top-level world-class that, you know, some of these other, like, Argentina, Brazil, right. whatever, Netherlands, Portugal, all these other teams who have these aspirations of going into the semis, uh, the, the quarterfinals, the semis, and, and, and beyond. We, we don't have the... the, the you might have it in four years, but right now it's just not. To me, it's not there. But this and is this is a time. To, all right, so this is a time to show how how competitive you be uh, you could be. We have a young team, like when that Germ- when Germany brought that. I think like the oldest age was like twenty three when they brought that young team, and they they made it far because they bought their they bought their best players, um, and they made it pretty far. I believe the next World Cup they won it with the same players. They were just a little bit older, so like just bring these players that can make a difference, and like. Okay, um, yes, I, you're right. They probably won't win a World Cup this year, but, but like, they're definitely not. You, you, yeah. you, you're getting that confidence. You're getting that confidence to be like, first make it to the fifth game. You're getting that confidence <laughs> to be like, all right, we can make it for that. The next World Cup's in the U.S. This, this should be our World Cup. But the key players who are going to be there for 2026 are, are, are going. And he regardless, be one of those key players. Well, regardless, like all of these players, it is what it is. This is the roster. They're going to have this World Cup experience. The People next just, World Cup, they could be the game changers. Definitely. So stop hating on Aaron. <laughs> Period. Aaron, she's still, she's still <laughs> stuck yeah, on Aaron Long, bro. He no, went, also he shout went out to Riverside. So like, <laughs> Listen, it, like, you see Riverside, first of all. Like, I saw him they're, come up. They're, I saw him come up. Their graduation rate is like 3% because of meth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my first God. First of all. So we have one of the I'm top pocket. medical schools here, so come at me. Because you got to save all those people on meth. <laughs> You want me to take you? No, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> Julio, Julio just hates on any like he's such an LA elitist. I know. That just because it's in the shout out to Empire. Arizona Western, they're playing. They're playing. Even though the he national, went to Arizona, Arizona Western. Bro. Shout out to my because no. we're talking about her college. Shout out to my college. They're playing. <laughs> they're playing national uh, the NGCA national <laughs> championship this week. Oh, uh, good luck. Hope okay. you guys win it all. It'd be UCR the first time in school history. Too. Shout out to UCR Western Conference champs. That's what I'm saying. Did you know that? Big West Say Champs, it. they're Big yes, West Champs. Yes, Big West Champs, that's what's up. And they have their big game this weekend. Anyway, his school is like in the middle of the Grand Canyon. 
<laughs> you gotta, you gotta take a mule. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta take the mule to go down. <laughs> you lose service when you get there. That's why we didn't know him. <laughs> First of all, all your friends knew me now. <laughs> now, nah, but yeah, though, going back to so, the so, okay. So, so, but how far in your like? What's a realistic expectation for the U.S.? To, Honestly, to I feel like they're gonna qualify second, so they might go against France next no, round. No, no, it'll be, it'll be. Um, Group A, the first place team from Group A. Yeah, so the, I, I'm It'll saying be Netherlands, Netherlands, Ecuador, or no. Uh, so I, yeah. I believe Qatar. I believe if, if if the U.S. qualifies in second, France qualifies in first. No, no, no. It's <laughs> it's it's Group A. The math ain't math in. Yeah, no, no. So if they if, if, so if we the U.S. Second, is Group B. Yeah, so if we finish second, then we play the first place team. The in first group place a, team. who's probably going to be Netherlands. All right. Or Ecuador. Or Ecuador. Bridget has like we'll get into the anyway, we're gonna get into our we gonna we gonna save that for but, later but, but yeah I th- I think we can beat Netherlands that's I mean that's a bold statement I hope so anything can happen so soccer is random yeah I mean, that's the beauty of it yeah and especially in the World Cup the stakes are high everybody's kind of on edge um, we can sure we can so do you think we beat do you think we beat them yeah but I, f- I feel like the the team that makes it the furthest out of the Concacaf my money's on Canada for some reason your money's on Canada yes. I mean, okay, yeah. Second appearance. Alfonso Davies might be might might or might not play. I'm, a, I'm the biggest fan of Buchanan. Tejon. Yes, I, I honestly love his game. Him, Joe David. Yeah. Shout out to Mark Anthony K. I know Mark, Mark Anthony. Anthony. Yeah. What's up? But so so okay, you didn't answer my question though. How far does the U.S. go? <laughs> uh, fifth game. You say we make it past the round of 16 in the semis. Round of eight. I think so too. I think I think they could court. Semi or so quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. No, I, yeah, I quarterfinals. Said, I said semis, quarter. Yeah, quarterfinals. I think that, so. So you guys are in the like unrealistic expectation group. I just feel like it's a young ass team. Like they have the opportunity to just you show. You got the juice. We got the yeah. Juice they got the year. juice. They they have what it takes. I hope we make it to the to quarters. make it that far. But I think so. I think I think we get out of our group. I hope we get out of our group. But it's not a slouch. Iran and Wales are pretty good teams, and then. I mean, obviously, England's England. No, yeah. but we did the smartest thing. Uh, LAFC signed it, signed it, uh, signed bail just to sit down so we can like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a lot of pressure, right? Like on one, on like a whole team to be on with like bail. Yeah. Uh, is Aaron Ramsey playing for for Wales too? I think. Yeah. I think so, so. I mean, it's basically been them two for, basically. for a while. They did. I don't think they did very well in the Euros, um, but it'll still be it'll be a difficult task to get past the group. Yeah. I say we do. Maybe that's me being a fan, but I don't think we beat. So Wales are for the. What I feel about the Wales game is, we have to get two goals ahead mm-hmm. because they have. Diff- if we're tying right. and there's like ten yeah. minutes left, like they eight have minutes, factors that we don't. They, have. Yeah, they 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 have a bell. That bell is. He's as gonna you, come through. As, no, you, as you see, that game, as you can see, as you can see, uh, as you can see, Bell does b- <laughs> bell things like. He right. all he knows is greatness. Like bell balls from out. Champions Leagues, mm-hmm. MLS Cup. To with Wills to qualify them into the World Cup, mm-hmm. right. yeah. Like he's, he's a big time I, player. He's ready he's to do player. that in yeah, the World Cup. If if you leave if you leave Bell like an inch of space, he's winning the game and he's going. He's Ugh. gonna go crazy. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh huh. But with with England, I'm hoping for a tie. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard game. It's gonna be. Hard. I hope we win. Yeah. Um, I have a bet going. Just me being a fan. Terrible bet, by the way. Terrible bet. Whatever. Ramsey, Whatever. Ramsey, Ramsey does not odds. approve. He didn't <laughs> take all I know he didn't approve, but like. This is me just like being Julio. When my mouth gets me in trouble. Yeah. And my mouth got me in trouble yeah. today. But I'm Live or die I'm, by it. I'm a ride I'm a ride or die uh with the US. America. America. <laughs> All right, Bridget, what about Mexico? What, what are your thoughts? Um okay. Do they make it to that fifth game? For real, at this point, what is it? What's do we it get out? Like? Do we get out of the group? Do That's, we get out of the group? I think we for sure get out of the group. I I I have a strong feeling I feel like we can make it out of the group stage. Um the real question is, will we make it out of the the round of 16? Because it's been like a curse. Like, we just mm. cannot come mm-hmm. out of that for whatever reason. Um, I'm hopeful. Um, I'm also just a little worried, only because we don't have, like, Tecatito. He's not going to be there. Right, right. He got hurt, right? Yeah, he got hurt in, like, I think, like, at practice or something. He's a great player as well. Yeah, he is a I'm great player. I'm a big player. fan. Difference maker. He yeah. is a difference maker. And, I like, do, that's I, who we would have relied on. I hate how Taylor Tolman says his name, though. Tecatito. Ew. First of all, 12 men. I, First of all, it's Tecatito. Yeah, 12 men, like, honestly, like, yeah. <laughs> whatever, let's go. <laughs> anyway, but, yeah, um, it'll be, it'll be, 
I'm hopeful. Um, it's just going to be interesting because they have a lot of like veterans and mm. then they have like semi new and then, you know, young team, uh, team members, but definitely out of the group stage. And then from there, we just got to realize that like they either, I mean, it'll, it'll go to both uh, two ways, right? We make it out of round of 16 or we don't. And then this is just Those like are a the two options. The, the, the thing with options. Mexico. You either win or you lose. Yeah. yeah. And the, like, it's just like a fucking. The thing with Mexico is I don't see a forward that makes a difference. They have a great team, but I don't think, I don't see the score yeah. in their team. No Vela, no Chicharito. No Vela, no thoughts? Chicharito. What are your thoughts? Did you want to, did you want to see them on the, on the score? It would have been dope, right? Like right. to bring back the 2014 uh, team. 20, yeah, 2018. 20, 2018 team, yeah. right? Like Lozano, Vela, Chicharito. That would have been like A1 right there. Yeah. Um, we don't have that. So I think the guys that are at the World Cup and that are there, like they're going to have to come in and like show their game and show who they are. And then I think this is going to be the opportunity for the forwards that we have there, the mids, the defense, to show um, what they really bring and then like make a name for themselves. I feel like this team is care for Chicharito. Like, a team that has great players on the flank that can cross balls. Chicharito in the middle. Like Finishing. He's mm -hmm. a goal machine. Like, yeah. if you can find people to feed him balls, Chicharito's going to score. Is it? Is it? He, he has beef with Tata, though, right? Tata Martino? They're saying he has beef with the, with, like, with the veterans of the national team, like uh, Ochoa. Or is it Vela who has? One of them has beef no, with No, 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 no. So, they're, they're saying uh, Chicharito has, like, Ochoa and other key mm. players. Ochoa and other key players, like don't like him because of the things he say, mm. says. But um, I think Vela just doesn't want to go. I know. I don't think so. But, yeah, he, he has another thing. I also think Ochoa is going to be a game, uh, uh, like a play, a big playmaker for our, for our team this year. I think a lot – I low-key think a lot of pressure is on him just because of the amount of appearances that he's had in a World Cup yeah. and, like, who he can be as a goalie. So yeah. you, you, what, do you, what do you think the prediction will be that Argentina-Mexico first game? Yo – because Argentina is like, and didn't they AKA didn't daddy. they beat us out the round of sixteen? What <laughs> AKA daddy to Mexico? I think yeah. one of the last yeah. ones. Yeah. So no, they, they they disqualified you like I think in two straight World Cups. Yeah. That Maxi Rodriguez chest to like, but now it's not going to be this one if you get out of the group though. Yeah, exactly. It'll group, just so. be a game, but yeah. it'll be like redemption. So all right, so let's let's get into this now then. So um, shout out to Believe Network. They uh, gave us a, a little prompt on picking our top two finishers in each group, who's mm -hmm. going to make it to the group stage, um, and then how far does the U.S. go, and then the overall winner. So um, let's go. Let's, let's go over let's, it. Let's go over it. Group A, Julio, you have Netherlands and Ecuador. Um, like, you, you just want to go through your, uh, your, your, your picks? Yeah, definitely. So the reason I picked Netherlands is because they've always been a powerhouse. They're always strong. Um, Ecuador, just because of the LAFC connection they have uh, in the team. Ecuador Loki has a squad, though. Yeah, and yeah. they're young. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Like, they brought a young squad, and I hope they do great because it's going to set them up for, for, for future World Cups to come. Yeah. And they come out of that, uh, that South America, Comebola. They uh, finished fourth. Yeah, and, 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 and that's not well. an easy. And that's not that's an easy. Not, no. Like, there's People a lot are of, saying that they, they want more teams to come out of Europe, but no, with the Coma so, Bowl, that, that qualification is is Chile didn't even make it, and Chile like, has yeah. amazing players as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, that's the reason I went, I, w I went with them too. Yeah, yeah. Mine is the opposite. I put Ecuador first and then Netherlands, um, and I, I have a lot of faith What was your reason, though? It was <laughs> she is. She's a homer. She's a homer. That's bias. The LAFC connection for sure. All I just right. have a lot of faith She's in them. She's picking with her heart. They're go they're taking the championship energy to Ecuador, so they're going to do true, something. That is true, though. Yeah, they're going to do something. What, they have two, three? Three they got, they got some players in the They have three too. of them. Yeah. The thing about tournaments is, like, if you feel good, your team plays good, honestly, you can beat better teams. It just ripples off. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's mm -hmm. the low-key dark horse. I have, I have Netherlands and Ecuador, too. Um, We're here with it. Yeah. We're right. here with yeah, it. Yeah, Watch me win. Um, what about Group B? <laughs> England, USA. I, I have England Iran. first, even though uh, I have that bet. My roommate's from England. Even though we have that bet going on, I have England first, USA second, and then, uh, yeah, just England because the amount of they're, – they're bringing great players. Yeah. Um, and USA <laughs> just for the simple reason that this is the golden the – golden, uh, a uh, golden era of soccer the for the U.S. Generation. Yeah, golden yeah. generation. So, I've I have I have like I'm a big fan of this generation for the U.S. and I think they can make it far. But I think I'm just being a super fan right now because I, I feel like the U.S. 
even though me and Greg don't see eye to eye. <laughs> so, so three matches, right? What are your predictions? England, um, Wales, Wales. Like I told you, we, we have to be up early or. But do we do we beat them? Do we tie them? We beat them one zero. Okay. England, you said we need to be up by two though. I know. But we but, won by wait. one. We won one zero. Do you believe in miracles? <laughs> Okay. So, all right, 1-0. Yeah, um, yeah. Hopefully 2-0. That's what I want. Okay. But, all right, England, hoping for a 1-1 one, one tie. Okay. Saudi Arabia, probably like 4-0. Uh, no, no, uh, Iran, 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 probably like 4-0. Don't four, be zero. racist, bro. Come on. Middle, <laughs> Middle Eastern representation. Let's go. Come on. Don't put that energy on me, bro. Shut <laughs> <laughs> <Trump> at you. <laughs> Iran's... No You're, slouch, though. No, no slouch, but I feel like the U.S. has a better team. Okay. Better players and better yeah. leagues. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about you, Bridge? I think I – so I put USA and then England. Um, I'm, She's I'm going, zagging. I'm She's going zagging. With the, I'm going with the underdogs here. Yeah. I feel like the, the USA is the underdog in that group, um, just given, like, the, the history behind each of the teams. I think USA is going to come out top, and then England is going to follow. And – yeah, that's who I'm gonna go with. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I got England, USA too. England won. USA there we too. go. I mean, there I'm we not go. Gonna say Julio copied my answers because I, I expressly told him not to put it in the Google Doc because I, I knew. Did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Because I knew. But what a but, nerd. Anyways, I, he said, I, "Don't copy me." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these yeah, are false my answers. narrative right now. Yeah. Like the false I'm, narrative. I'm going with my heart home. a little bit here with the U.S. I'm. I won't be surprised if we don't make it, but I, I really want us to. I will. I will be rooting for us. Um, so that, that's the only reason why. Um, but yeah, let's just go through these pretty quick though. Um, so C is, um, Argentina. Ar- Mexico, Argentina. Uh, that's it. Yeah. You got Mexico, Argentina. Yeah. yeah. You? Argentina, Poland. Yeah, me too. That's, I mean. But there, no, for the only reason though, is like, I took a walk to Poland. That, that Yachty juice is gonna, is gonna, is gonna. <laughs> Shout out to Lil Yachty. That's yeah. what he's like, <laughs> Yeah. Lewandowski. I mean, you yeah. Know what I mean, he's still, he's still got yeah. some juice. They, they did. I think that they kind of disappointed in the Euros, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that was that was that was. But I'm, hope, I'm hoping, even though I picked those teams, I'm hoping Mexico Mexico makes it to the next round. Yeah, I mean, we always we want Concacaf, you know. Definitely, we want, we want a strong showing for them because Concacaf over over any other. Yeah, ones. yeah. So I, I, you know, it's not. I'm not going as much with my heart. I go Poland, um, Argentina, obviously. Argentina's my pick to win. Um, but but yeah, what about Group D? Mm. France. Oh yeah, France for sure. Yeah, France is is getting. France uh, we and we then all pick France and Denmark. Yeah. So I think that that's a pretty clear one. A, a lot of these groups, like the top two, are pretty clear. There's a couple underdogs here and mm-hmm, there. Mm-hmm. Um, France and Denmark, though, clear uh, clear ones. And D Group E, Spain, Germany, Japan is in the mix too. Um, uh, I think Senegal is 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 uh-huh. the fourth one. I I love Japan's team. Or not Senegal. It's, I love Japan's team, but I. I want to pick them, but I, just, just the powerhouses that mm-hmm. yeah. Germany the is. Yeah, is like, over. yeah, Germany. Yeah, we all have. I'm saying Germany Spain. and Spain is just like. But who, who do you got first? I have Germany, then Spain. I have Spain. Yeah, Germany. me and Bridget here. Spain, Germany. Um, it could go either way. I mean, a broken clock is right twice a day. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, group F. Um, we got a little bit of uh, uh, mix. A mix here. Yeah. Um, I got Belgium, Croatia. Um, I think but I put Ca- Canada, Canada's in here, Croatia's in here, Belgium's in here, uh, Morocco's in here. Mm-hmm. So this is a pretty wide open group. I think mm-hmm. this is the anywhere. group of death. Like, you know how I always pick one group? I think this is the group of death just because of the, the amount of great teams. Uh, I picked Belgium first, Canada second. Yeah. Um, and that one, it was a, it was a pick with my heart uh, just for the simple reason that I love the Canadian team. Like, mm-hmm. I honestly do. Like, Shout out to the six. Yeah. Six, six, six. six. Yeah, Drake, Drake at 21 out here. Uh, but like. 21. Can you do something <laughs> for me? No, but like Canada, like, I'm, I'm a, like, honestly, from what they were to what they are now, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a big fan. Davies, so, Davies, I don't, I don't know what the, what the word is on Davies. I hope he plays. I want to see yeah. him play. Like, I mean, like I said, Conca Cup. But you know, my, my favorite player from that team is Buchanan, Tejan, like Tejan, I told you. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping, uh, I know, I'm hoping Canada qualifies to the next round. Yeah. If they I'm, don't, I'll be sad because, like, honestly, I expect great things from them. Like, yeah. I feel like they can be that Costa Rica underdog, underdog okay. story. Okay, to I, make love it that. I love that. I love that. I love that out of you. But Bridget, I, I was kind of surprised when I saw this on the, on the, on the, uh, on the Google Doc. What, what do you got? 
I have, I think I have yeah, Canada. And Canada then winning. Canada yeah. winning the group. And then Croatia coming in second. Yeah, yeah, Over yeah. Belgium. Over Belgium. Yeah, Belgium's the number do. two ranked team in the, in the, in the, in the in world the right world. now. Yeah, I know. I'm telling you, I'm going with the underdogs. I feel like there's a lot of people doubting Canada, period, right? Like this, right. this is what their second right. appearance in the World Cup. Yep. I think that they have a strong team to come in and come out the group stage. And then Croatia, I feel like what, what won me over to pick Croatia over Belgium is the fact that I feel like Modric is going to come in and try to, like, regain what he missed when he was in, in the World Cup. What mm. was that, like? 2018? I they, think so. He, he, they finished runner-up. He was, like, an injured, right? No, no, no. He, he was, like, the best player. Yeah, he was. Oh, no. What was it, the other? The, the, he, I don't know. He missed one of the World okay, Cups. Okay, but I just I feel know. like he has some sort of energy that's going to come bon, in. He won Bondor. Yeah, uh, he, yeah, did, after, he did. In 2018, did. After So, yeah, they, and they were runner-up for that World Cup. They yeah, lost the finals. He balled out, though. He's, he did, yeah. exactly. He's, he's so much fun to watch. So man. I feel like that energy is going to come in and just, like, I don't know. It yeah. just it felt right Belgium's to me. old. Belgium, and they're, they're prone to choking. But this is their last chance, I think. They got this golden generation for, like, I don't yeah. know, For the last years. three World Cups. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, De Bruyne, Hazard's kind of... Getting Hazard, up there in age, yeah. Lukaku, yeah. you know what I mean? So so we'll see. We'll see how it's going. They've basically had the same squad for the last, like, yeah. like 12 years. So, yeah. All right. Let's get to, 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 to G. We got Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland are the kind of the three main contenders here. Brazil, um, for sure. I have Brazil and Serbia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Serbia. I said Brazil and I don't know. Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got, yeah. that urban pitch cup is hitting different right <laughs> now. It's hitting hard right now. Uh, I go. got Brazil and Switzerland as well. Uh, shout out to my guy, uh, Granite Xhaka. He's been balling out for, uh, for, for Arsenal. Um, and then, you know, uh, they just they got a good squad. They saw a squad. All right, what about Group H? Portugal and, and, and Uruguay. Portugal. Uh, Portugal. Portugal. Por- yeah. <laughs> La Celezal de Portugal. <laughs> 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 no, uh, I, I picked Portugal and, uh, sorry. Uruguay. P- yeah, Portugal and Uruguay. Uh, Portugal is a little bit... Uh, up there in age as well, but um, I'm Salvadorian, and one of the one of the biggest players in El Salvador is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, aka El Bicho. <laughs> so you can't go against El Bicho. And then Uruguay, the South American. I I just love like their grit, their gutter. Uh, what they call them like El, el Juego Charua. Mm, so like yeah. just their grit, yeah. gutter. Like, Uruguay, little, yeah, they're, they, they're solid. They, they always find a way to win games, mm-hmm. even if they're not even they in come it. Through. Yeah. It'll be Suarez's last cup. Yes. Cavani's Aww. probably too. Um, so I mean, they got Darwin Nunez too. So he's been bomb. But you mentioned you mentioned uh, Cristiano Ronaldo for Portugal. Um, <laughs> he's been in the headlines recently. He had that yep. big this big uh, interview with mm-hmm. uh, with Pierce Morgan, um, who a lot of people say is the worst Arsenal uh, fan <laughs> alive. When uh, Osama bin Laden was an Arsenal fan, <laughs> so that was a funny. That was, that was a tweet I saw on, on uh, that that made me crack up. But um, what like so? What are your thoughts on on the whole Ronaldo thing about him? Uh, he obviously he criticized um, Manchester United as as an organization, mm-hmm. um, his manager uh, Eric Ten Hag, um, and just you know, has faced some backlash. A lot of people have supported him. Obviously, the CR7 army is a strong, it's crazy one of, one of the biggest hives. I mean, you army. got the the Beehive, the Taylor Swift. Uh, with the Swifties, whatever the they call Swifties. them, and then the CR7 is probably right up there in, in terms of the three people. <laughs> BTS, BTS, BTS Army, you cannot mess with oh, them. Oh, they're yeah, they're not at all. They untouchable, yeah. untouchable. Right. So, so they are, they are gonna he, go but he's up there. He's up there. He's got <laughs> his stands. Anybody with a with a Cristiano Ronaldo uh, profile picture, you just do not want to. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so what what are your thoughts on uh, on on the whole Ronaldo saga? Man, it's hard uh, just because I am a fan of his. But in the words of Lil Wayne, real G's moving silent like lasagna. <laughs> uh, I probably messed that all up. Yeah. But um, no, 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 but no, that's, that's but um, I don't, I don't, I don't think that the interview was a good look for him. Um, he did say the truth though. He is better looking than Rooney. He I mean, did not lie. Sure, sure. He called him a rat as well. Yeah. But, <laughs> Shout out to Kashi. Um, <laughs> so no, but like all jokes aside, I. Yeah, I don't think it was a great look for him. I think Manchester is ready to get rid of him, but right. now he's like January he's transfer to, market. He's to you gotta let him go. His way out. Right. Yeah. But I still feel. I but like he did make he did play good last season. Um, he played okay. Yeah, but like he, I think he scored twenty six goals last season. A lot of them are penalties. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna come after you, you know, right? Huh? Yeah, I think he sees he sees everything. 
I mean, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I have facts. I have facts behind me. Ryan O'Hanlon came with the stats. You know what I mean? He said Net when he was on the field, when he was on the field, Manchester United played worse. Even yeah. though he was getting his. No, you know? but definitely. Uh, Russell Westbrook. Type. It's not a, it's not a one team. It's not a one man team. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to El Bicho. Um, <laughs> but like, no, like, I, I feel like that was not a good look for him, though. Mm-hmm. Um, he is up there in age. Yeah. He's. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, top team in any, any of the top five leagues will want him. So where does he go? Does he go back um, to... Uh, he's to, coming uh, to MLS. To Shout Portugal. out to the MLS. Does he go back to Portugal? <laughs> I'm an LAFC fan, here. but... LAFC I'm an LAFC fan, one. but, like, we'll get him you. to the galaxy. Like, <laughs> he's not coming to the U.S. You know, you know that, right? He, he's, like... There's you like, don't got to yell at us. No, no, no. I'm not no, yelling at but, no, no, but he <laughs> won't come... angry drunks. No, he won't come to the U.S. because he has charges against them facing. He'll go... He'll get... He'll get... Oh, what do you do? He has, like, sexual assault charges in the U.S. Listen. I don't know if they're still active. I don't know what the whole deal is, but... He's anytime Manchester or uh, whatever team he was with, they would do like the you know preseason tour in the U.S. Uh-huh. He never He'd be comes. like, oh yeah, my hamstrings hurt. He'd pick up some kind of ankle injury, you know what I mean? Like type some some type of stuff. So this is why I'm messy all the way. Yeah, he's not he's not coming. She is super messy, honestly. I'm. On- <laughs> <laughs> I've been Ooh. messy. Ooh. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm a messy guy too, but I mean you can't deny the greatness that that is Ronaldo. Oh no, yeah, you know what I facts. Mean? Like he's right. a great player. And, and you just, see this, you see this with almost every. I mean John John did a piece on on, on Urban Pitch about you know shout the, out to John the aging, <laughs> the aging superstar. It's it's hard, yeah. you know. Kobe, that's a that's a great article I'm, by the way. I'm a Kobe stan, you know. Like seeing watching him go out was not fun. Yeah, you know. Like it's never like nobody shout aged, out to Kobe. Like crazy Father age. times, Father mm-hmm. times undefeated. You know. <laughs> yeah. So. And you can't fault a guy for, like, continuing to think that I'm at this level. Because he has a big head. I mean, but but his mentality is what got him there in the first place. So yeah, I mean, true. so. But that's to why me, he's, he's a better he slot on. Now. Huh? He's a better slot on. I mean, yeah. So so they both have big, different. I different feel like they're on different spectrums. But, different no, but different egotistical uh, people. Same yeah. egos. Same yeah. egos. Different different positions. And I think Zlatan um, can can do Zlatan things. In short spurts, mm-hmm. whereas shout Ronaldo, out to that Netflix movie though, the Slatan's the soccer movie. That was a great. I just watched it yesterday. Oh, I, don't, I haven't watched that yet. Oh, but we movie. don't have time like that. Sorry. So yeah, so 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 to me, like, <laughs> it was just like I mean, his ego, like his ego is, is the first thing that that enters the door when yeah. when he when he when he yeah. enters the room. You know, the ego comes in first, and to me, like, it just it was just like kind of like him stroking his ego for well, however many 180 minutes, mm-hmm. um, which I mean, you get, certain, you get to a certain you get to a certain point. You earned that right, you know. So he earned it. So like, right? But to, then- to, to me, like he's not he's not the player he once was. He still thinks he's the player that he once was. I don't blame him for that. But like, sounds it's like time, another Kanye. It's time to move on. You heard it. That's here? a hard comparison, right there. Yeah. I mean, different difference, but same. The ego is yeah. still there, and that's right. what's fucking them up. Yeah. I but mean, I think that Cristiano Ronaldo is gonna play with Portugal, and he's gonna knowing him, I feel like he's going to show out and then he's going to like be like, this is who I am. Maybe. Did Maybe. y'all see that uh, the little, I think it was like a little video where Bruno walks into the locker room and then like, Christian was like, hey, what's up? Yeah. And he's can- like, <laughs> there's a couple of things where yeah. like he's kind of getting like slighted by his teammates. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, was it Cancelo who he kind of like, you know, playfully grabbed his neck and he was like, yo man, like, get away from me like i'm not trying to do yeah with this. but i mean you know you never know it's taken out of context mm-hmm. um hopefully he doesn't take the free kicks he's been horrible at, at free kicks over the last like certain amount of years um but he still takes them because you know which like, is crazy because like everyone does the whole cristiano <sighs> right i mean and so so there's a point in time where he was obviously yeah, elite at it but obviously but i forget there's like a certain point Maybe after the 2018 World Cup, because you did score a banger yeah. uh, free kick. In the, but after that goal, I'm not sure if he scored a free kick goal since. Um, but, you know, we'll see how he, well, how he does. Um, I hope he, I mean, you know. Like, Have we we'll finished see. the whole World Cup uh, groups? Yeah, we, we, uh, we got through everything. That was the last Port, one. Yeah, Group mm-hmm. H, Portugal, and, Portugal and, and, and Uruguay. Um, I said, is that Portugal? Yeah. <laughs> that was all bad. Um, but <laughs> who are your picks? We'll, we'll, we'll close it out here. Who are you guys' picks to win? I think Brazil's gonna take it. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's I mean. Period. That's they're the clear favorites. Mm-hmm. You know, they got they got a squad. I they feel like they do have a squad. And a squad. So that that is that is my top pick, Brazil. But I'm going with my heart on this one. 
um, all this. I'm a Cristiano Ronaldo fan, but I want Messi to win one. Yeah. I feel like he deserves it. Um, I can see that, too. He has not had the help. I feel like this is the best team that's been around him every World Cup, uh, fifth World Cup, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, this is the best team he's had around him. Yeah. So I still he has a, he has a lot of game left. Um, so with the, with these pieces, him and Di Maria, especially like I'm a big Di Maria fan. He's yeah. hard. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. like yeah, Di Maria's like, dope. I feel like if not Messi deserves it, Di Maria deserves it because like as much praise as as Messi has gotten during World Cup season, national team season, like Di Maria has been that guy for mm -hmm. me. Right. Mm -hmm. He's right. been the difference right. maker. There's gonna be there's a lot of talk about. Messi did not perform with the national team this, this, uh, this tournament, but somebody that's performed and showed out every World Cup for me has been Di Maria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I got Argentina too. I, I want to see, maybe this is with my heart too, because I love, I love Brazil. I've always, like Brazil's, like, hey, has my always God, been my, yeah, has always been my team. Um, but I just want to, like, as much as I love Neymar, um, you know, Marcelo is also one of my favorite players mm -hmm. ever. He's not. He's not. That, that's my favorite player. I know he's not yeah, going. Yeah, uh. but um, I think I'm low key hating then. Yeah, maybe. Maybe <laughs> it, could could be be it. That. it could be that. Yeah. It could be that. But, but, I just want them to get that sixth one. I mean, there's me. no better story that than you know Messi taking home. I know. You know, I'm Ooh. a huge Messi fan. The only the only reason I didn't say Argentina is only because they're in the same group as Mexico, and I you know I have to go with Mexico, but right. definitely. But I mean, once they get out of the group stage, they're not. It's just like a whole different yeah, thing. It's yeah, it's a new tournament. I don't know. I guess I just, I think Brazil for me, like the idea of them. Too winning much, it too much hurt one. from Argentina. I, I think, I think, Probably. I do think Brazil has the best squad though. They have I think, the, yeah. yeah, front to back. I mean, yeah. Roster. I guess heart wise, for sure, for Messi or Di Maria. But I chose Brazil. That was like my gut. Thinking with it, mm -hmm. with, with I'm thinking head. with my head. Yeah. yeah. Unlike unlike these other picks, because you got some crazy picks here. Canada. Yo, listen. Canada winning the when group. When they USA when they start the group, popping Mexico off, Mexico winning the group. When they start popping off, I want to say though. something. No, I love it. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm as not. As much not. trash as I speak, if any of the Concacaf teams make it far, yeah, I'm going crazy. Yeah, yeah. we're playing. That we're playing six god. Insane. We're playing six god in the semis. Yeah. So if we send the bananas if it, ha yeah. if it happens no. or like or some some like at LAFC. So, or if you, even I got some barbecue stain on my white t-shirt. Like, whatever it has to Get be. Get some Chris Stapleton whatever, playing. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever it has to be. Like, if anybody on, on our side of the continent make it, I'm going, going crazy. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yo, playing Marvin's that would room. <laughs> that oh, would no, change the whole. That's when we lose. That's afterwards. That's no, no. Whatever. whatever it, no, I'm, not, that's for the, I'm playing it for the people that lost. So, like, yeah. if anybody on this side makes it for, further than the fifth game, oh, open it's season on. for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I might, I'm, I'm going to annoy people. Yeah. Because, like, Take days I mean, off. Over annoy everybody. people more than normal. Than, than, no, than usual. normal, yeah. yeah. Than even Costa, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. We, Costa Rica. Even though we, we, we're counting they have like them. The, we, they have, like, the, they're, like, one of the, like, yeah, bottom we're counting them Shout out to Kaylo Navas, though. Shout out to Kaylo yeah, Navas. We, yeah. We're counting them out, but, like, if they do make it far, honestly, pura vida, whatever it has to be. Pura vida, baby. Like, yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, pura I'm, vida. I'm going crazy, yo. Yeah. Especially if a Central American team makes Hell it far. Right, yeah. Right, we in there. Right, we supporting. Yeah, yeah. And, that's, and that's what I love about the World Cup is that, like, at the end of the day, like, your team loses whatever, but whoever's left and that, like, you can root for because you can identify in some way. Right. That's yeah. the love. Definitely. It's the that's what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just brings people together. It brings us together. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too and sentimental for Julio. Yeah. <laughs> he got all cringy. You know, he, was like, yeah. he said, he said, he said, uh, like, <laughs> love. he's got intimacy uh, issues. Julio's got intimacy. Never got hugged as a kid. <laughs> he I'm lacks joking. affection. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, but um, I think this is this is good. Um, so yeah. wait, last thing for me, like okay, last question. Go ahead, go ahead. What are your Thanksgiving plans? Because it's <coughs> coming up. Oh yeah, Thanksgiving. Um, so I got family in Orange County. Uh, shout out to the OC. The OC. Um, so I'll be heading down there. Um, you know, we, we get together. We have some family debates. You know, yeah. sometimes it gets into screaming arguments. But I mean, that's what that's what that's family's what all about. about. You know, that's I mean, what family's if you're not for. About your cousin. Uh, Are you over, really family? Yeah. I mean, I mean, my cousin said Carl's Jr. is the best hamburger of all time. He's an idiot. Bro, don't talk to him ever that's again. That's what I said. <laughs> he, told me, he told me. He goes. He goes. Yo, bro. You know what's the best hamburger? Because we we're like we're, we're just kind of you know like yeah. best 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 chicken wings. Best all these guys. Best best hamburger, Carl's Jr. And I like my sister Went like off. makes fun of me for it because I literally lost it. I go, what are you? Like, of so, course yeah. he lost it. But it, it like they're in the spicy chicken debate because they're yo they're, the they're, spicy they're, chicken. Yeah, it's actually spicy. I mean, I don't, I don't roll like I, I don't. I, 
I'm, I'm not in that tax bracket to go to Carl's Jr. Because Carl's Jr. is low-key expensive, bro. Carl's Jr. is, ex- <laughs> is like, if we're talking bro, fast food. spicy chickens back in the days were like a dollar. Back in the days, <laughs> yeah, before freaking inflation took over. You go to Carl's Jr. And, and you can't spend under $15. Well, I don't go to Carl's Jr. Yeah, I don't so. go either. Yeah, so you guys can't talk. Like, you guys don't know what But I'm about. saying, like, if, if I was like, all right, so, like, go get a spicy chicken, like. Uh, yeah. I would mm-hmm. think about Carl's Jr. I would think about Carl's Jr. Yeah. Spicy chicken. But but now Chick-fil-A's out. Chick-fil-A. I haven't Game tried changer. the the um the deluxe? wing stop. The wing stop. I know. And oh, I know. Me either. Yeah. I saw that. We should do it, we should do it in the podcast. Clear. No. Popeye's <laughs> is clear above uh, Chick-fil-A, though, in the, in the chicken sandwich. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Chick-fil-A, I mean, it's a good sandwich, but Popeyes yeah. is like, Popeyes I don't know. I, I haven't had it. So. Popeyes is better than Chick-fil-A in almost every category. Mm. Besides the service. chicken. Besides service. Oh. Popeyes, Popeyes, they'll spit in your food in front of your face. I'll still eat it, but I mean, they, you're they're crazy. Yeah. And they're open. On- <laughs> you're crazy. Popeyes, he's a freak. He's a freak. And, and they're open on Sundays. <laughs> yeah, and there it is. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, what about y'all? What are your uh, yeah. Thanksgiving plans? Uh, plans? I I don't know yet. We have um my cousin's quinceañera this Saturday, so that's been taking over the whole family mm-hmm. plans. And so yeah. So and it's a, it's insane. Like planning for a quinceañera, like all the planning behind it, the prepping, like. Being a part of the family, you got to go all out as well. Mm. So it's been a lot. Um, so we'll do that. And then, I don't know. I guess we always end up having like a big family dinner. So we'll probably just do that at my mom's place. Shout out to my sister. She was like, I don't want a quinceanera. Just give me the money. To my yeah. <laughs> I said that too, and I didn't see the money. Dang. My Cold parents. Cold world. Cold world. Played me. Uh, me. Uh, first things first. We're going to have a, a friend's giving with the Urban Pitch urban family. Urban Pitch family. Yeah. So <laughs> that. And then uh, the following day. Um, probably just gonna be in the apartment with family and um, uh, one of my roommates' uh, dad is coming from England, so we're gonna do something at the house, uh, enjoy ourselves, probably have some drinks, um, try to go to sleep early so we can wake up early and watch, watch some, some World yeah, Cup games. Yeah, yeah, there it yeah. is. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's that's all we got. Yeah, so um, appreciate y'all for listening. Uh, this has been the Urban Pitch Podcast, the beautiful game Boom. life part of the Believe Network. Leave us a review, five stars, yeah. or one star. Host like, Rose comment, Julio. subscribe. Yeah, do all that. I mean, we've been we've been we've been doing some better numbers recently. Yeah, we so have. I appreciate Shout out to the to all the of fans. y'all who've been who've been watching and <laughs> really listening. Really appreciate and y'all. Uh, we appreciate y'all. We got more episodes down, um, planned out. Um, some, some good ones. Exciting. Some good ones yeah, coming up. Some exciting, exciting stuff coming up. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, until then, we'll we'll, we'll catch y'all later. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching them. We're out of here. It's a holiday Bye. season. Give me a shot. <laughs> As always. <laughs>